Okay, now. You ready? Sharing. You see how it says sharing is paused. Bring your shared window to the front. It's right in front. I can't make it more front. Mm. This is what happened last time. Good evening and good morning. Let's start our evening session. As we usually start, we start with chanting of Metta Sutta. You all can join in with us to chant Metta Sutta. May all beings be happy and secure. May, May all beings, beings have happy and exception. We go strong, long, large, large medium, short, subtle or gross. Visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth, may all beings have happy mind. Let no one deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere, neither from anger nor ill will, should anyone wish harm to another. As a mother would risk all life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate a boundless heart, one should cultivate for all the world, a heart of boundless loving friendliness, above, below, and all around, abstracted without hatred or resentment, whether standing, walking, or sitting, lying down, or when awake, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here, not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed vision, removing desire for sensual pleasures. One comes never again to birth in the womb. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. <coughs> Have a comfortable seat. Keep your palms together right up on left. Take a breath and let it go slowly, be relaxed. Again, take a deep and long breath, let it go slowly, be relaxed. Your mind is relaxing, also your body. Determine yourself, this is my meditation time. This is not the time to pay attention for past experiences or future plans. Keep this message in your mind thoroughly. Relax yourself. Comfortably breathe in, comfortably breathe out. You are relaxing physically, also mentally. Your mind is empty. You don't hold anything in your mind. Keep relax your mind. Enjoy this relaxation, peace and happiness. It is very comfortable, it is very peaceful, full with happiness. You are living in this moment, present moment. This moment is full with happy happiness, full with peace.
Move your mind head to toes. Move in your mind head to toes. Generate loving friendliness thoughts to yourself. Without depending these words, get the feelings of these through these words. May I be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. You feel peace, happiness, wellness. Same time you are developing metta, loving friendliness thoughts, compassion, sympathetic joy and equanimity. This moment is very comfortable, very peaceful. Let's extend these happy thoughts, loving penniness thoughts, compassionate thoughts with others. As I am, my family members, friends, relatives and neighbors be well. Happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors be well. Happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors be well. Happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this on this continent may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in universe, in the universe may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this
this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. or not, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors be well, happy and peaceful. May I be well, happy and peaceful. Being in this metta towards, let us start to practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. In mindfulness of breathing meditation, we go, pay full attention to our inhalation and exhalation. Breathe in, breathe out. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. When you are breathing in, you feel where air is touching. Might be end of your nostril, upper lips or your belly. Also you feel what is happening with your lungs. Selected a place, keep your mind there, watch your breath, mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. Comfortably breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Be aware 
deity short breath or long breath we inhale short breath we inhale long breath we exhale short breath we exhale long breath Be aware of it all and each movement of your breath, inhalation and exhalation. Starting point of your breath, changing of your breath, departing of your breath. You can see impermanence of your breath. You feel the impermanence of your breath. Breath is the most important thing in our life. This life is full with suffering. Breath is not me, breath is not mine, breath is not myself, my breath is impermanence, my breath is full with suffering. My breath is selflessness. Paying full attention to your breath, watch your inhalation and exhalation mindfully. Take your time and practice. Whenever you notice, your mind has lost its meditation object, come back and start again. Breathe in. Breathe out.
दुख पताच निदुख भया पताच निभाया शोक पताच निशोक May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you. Then we can start our QA session. Could you please clarify for me the place and role of Pasaddi in the development of concentration and also how does it differ from Sukha? present happy as well on the one hand upekka equanimity on the other hand okay pasaddi there are seven enlightened pact pasaddi is one of pact as you know mindfulness sati dhamma vichaya virya piti pasaddi samadhi Upekha, these are the seven enlightenment facts. Mindfulness, Sati, keen investigations of Dhamma, Dhamma Vichaya, Virya, energy, Piti, rapture of happiness, Sama, Pasaddi, calm or tranquility, uh, Samadhi is concentration. Upekka is equanimity. Among these seven factors, Pasaddi is very important moment. These factors are the factors which is very keen to attain enlightenment. When someone attain enlightenment, these factors are very important for their practices. Starting with mindfulness, sati. Sati, samadhi and concentration, no, sati, samadhi and pasadhi. These three words are very familiar to everyone. Mindfulness, sati. And then, investigate, keen investigating Dhamma, we develop our Virya. Developing our Virya, we can develop happiness, Preeti. When you are in that state of your mind, then there is opportunity to develop your Pasaddi, tranquility. Developing your pasaddi, then we can turn, uh, we can move into go going uh, forward. We can uh, going into concentration level, samadhi, concentration. And attaining seven step equanimity upekha, we can enjoy that upekka or equanimity state. Pasaddi or calmness or tranquility is different from happiness and in here was asking sukha, pleasant, see uh, upekka, equanimity. Uh, Pasad is like this. You are planning to go somewhere. Mm. 
then you are ready to collect information according to your plan. Might just think about your vacation. You are planning to go a vacation to have a camp, camping or whatever things you are going to do. It doesn't matter, but you are planning to have a vacation period. Having that aspiration, you are ready to accumulate gathered information uh, through other friends, through websites, uh, in many ways. Gathering all the information and then you ready to apply any of methods might be driving or plying or whatever methods to go there and then at the end of your process you can you are you reach in the you you reach in that place and then you can you can experience yourself the information what you gathered that you gathered through your resources might be through internet or through your friends uh, whatever and now you are experiencing yourself all these information this is the time your pasadi concentration pasadi tranquility this is very keen with your journey it's very keen uh, pasadi uh, that process in that step uh, ready to turn into samadhi concentration S when when you develop concentration samadhi then we can gain our wisdom through our wisdom we can develop our equanimity equanimity uh, it is different from other as you mentioned in here uh, upekka yes, it is different equanimity is upekka is equanimity it is different from sama uh, uh, pasad is, is different with pasadi and happy uh, excitement pleasant these thoughts are not the thoughts these feelings are not the feelings that that you have with that pasadi as when you reach your destination reach in that destination experience in yourself what kind of thoughts would be there that is pasadi that is pasadi i think you might able to uh, clarify okay next question is according to the mentality and materiality and consciousness topic what is antar bhavaya how does it comes to play when the consciousness leaves a body in a nanosecond and until it gets into a exist a, a next life can the antarbhava exist for long a period of time circulation until it catches a place mm. Gandhava became Antarbhava. The word Gandhava became Antarbhava. There was, I think, in yeah, I've been ten, oh, sorry, twenty, thirty years, fifty years ago in Sri Lanka, there were huge arguments, debates 
among some scholar uh, monks about this antarbhavaya, the word antarbhavaya, transcending period in our after our death. Actually, according to uh, Theravada tradition, the origin, original teachings of the Buddha, there is no antarbhava. There is no antarbhava. In Dhammapada, it's, uh, it's, there is a stanza, it's directly mentioned. You already, uh, you are uh, already reaching your death, uh, decaying your body, uh, decaying, uh, decaying your body, and also expend, uh, 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 um, collecting uh, karma, wholesome and unwholesome. And when the time come to die, then to take birth, there is no any other time period to spend somewhere else. This is, this is the meaning of that stanza. Directly that stanza says there is no any other place likewise antarbhavaya, antarbhavaya, transcending period, they can stay somewhere to find suitable place to birth, to take place. In according to suttas or according to any other explanations, we couldn't find any antarbhavaya. Uh, it is, I think, that misunderstanding because of that Mahatanna Sankhya Sutta, there's the word Gandhabha. That using that word, some monks made that argument, yes, there is antarbhava, but there is no uh, antarbhava according to the original teachings of the Buddha. Uh, Nanosecond mean very very sharp time period, very very short time period. Even now we can't think about that time period. Uh, when someone departing from here, then it's ready to take place in other place according to their karma. This consciousness ready to leave from this body, and then that consciousness ready to uh, take a place in another realm, or sometimes in might be in this realm. It depends on the karma that they accumulated. It depends on their karma. So there is no uh, antarbhava. I think you might be able to understand it. There is no sut particular sutta to quote it because uh, Buddha, Buddha did not talk about this antarbhava. Then how I can talk about this quote in any... Uh, Sutta, but particularly I remember there's a stanza in Dhammapada, there is nothing. There is nothing, some places that you can stay, you can wait until you get birth, rebirth in some other places. That stanza is in Dhammapada. Okay. Mm, that's that's it. We don't have much question. If that's it, hmm, there's another question. In human world, we are fortunate to learn Buddha's teachings from conventional uh, conventional truth to ultimate truth to try gain enlightenment. However, in some plans uh, of existence, from formless. Fine material and sensual plan. The life span is essential year, yearn, thousands and millions years. As we know, we will rebirth in one of this plane if we are not enlightened. Yes, there are 31 realms, millions kind of uh, living beings living beings mean particularly not living things don't miss with living beings and living things living beings mean
who has consciousness. Living things doesn't have consciousness. Does not have consciousness. Living beings have consciousness. So, in this samsaric journey, according to our karma, according to our accumulations, yeah, we, we might get birth any of these places in these 31 realms. And very important thing, as a person, as you mentioned in here, as a person who is practicing Buddhism, uh, who is developing uh, conventional truth to ultimate truth, eternal truth, uh, to try and, uh, try and to attain enlightenment, uh, because of his practice, because of his process, developments, uh, he has opportunity to accumulate, uh, to accumulate wholesome karma, wholesome deeds. As a result of that wholesome deeds, uh, uh, he might have opportunity to continue these wholesome activities in their life, whatever the uh, realm you're going to take place, it doesn't matter. You might have opportunity to get some blessings through these wholesome activities. We uh, know about uh, Buddha's life stories through our Jataka story book. Uh, there are so many Jataka stories regarding anim uh, 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 animal beings. As, uh, Sid, uh, as Bodhisattva, born in animal worlds as a animal, animal beings, and then even though among those other animals, that Bodhisattva animal was, became very different with their wisdom, I mean, the, we can say the, with their knowledge and also their behavior. Uh, in this manner, we can get a picture, we can get an idea, yes, when you start to practice, turn into ultimate truth, eternal happiness, because as a result of that practice, we can, in this samsaric journey, we can use each and every opportunity as a living beings to continue our wholesome practice. But very important thing is we should develop and we, we should keep up all these wholesomeness with our life, particularly as a human being, now we can, we have opportunity to think about and to develop our wholesomeness. Using that opportunity, we have to keep these uh, thoughts in our mind, in our whole life, in this very life. Practicing and practicing, practicing and practicing, yes, one day, whatever the lives we're going to have, we don't need to worry about we can use even any of that opportunity also to experience this wholesomeness. My question, we had planned our Buddhist seeds in this life and still cultivating. Will this knowledge still be able to apply in the various... Yeah, these are the things, this is the... Mm, things that we discuss right now, yeah, in rebirth, yeah, in this sansara, but very important other things. Just think about uh, if you're born in some other uh, place where you don't have any uh, opportunities to learn Buddha's teaching or practice Buddha Buddha's uh, Buddha teaching, you might be have some trouble in that kind of places, uh, in, in that kind of life, to find the truth. But as a result of your wholesomeness that you already accumulated, uh, you may have opportunity to continue this practice. But we don't need to depend on our future. 
ati tanna hanu sochanti nappa jappanti nagata the future is not yet therefore we don't need to worry about use this opportunity to practice to develop as much as you can this is the most important thing don't worry about future or next life consciousness cannot independent but must has mati uh, materiality and uh, mentality support in the formless realms no form so is this cons oh. formless realm mean there is a form but it's not like form what that we have uh, we have concept with our rupa it's mean our physical form or uh, this is the, this kind of such a such a way we have to have eye ear nose in this manner but that formless realm mean that those being doesn't have this kind of form but there there should be some kind of form otherwise how that consciousness exist to exist consciousness there should be form without mentality and materiality there is no way to stay exist your consciousness that is the, that's the keen thing that we have to keep in our mind so even though those realms which is, which we call formless realms they don't have form like us but they have kind of forms very very subtle uh, form okay that's enough for today uh, we can wind down today our program uh, thank you very much for joining with us and this is time for share merits with our departed one and also blessing upon uh, sick people first we can focus to our uh, family members friends relatives or neighbors or any other uh, have maintaining any other relationship who passed away from us reducing these merits may they have peaceful happy life having that aspiration we can share merits with departed ones say sadhu 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 around the world there are people who got who are sick might be because of coronavirus or any other reason by the power of these merits uh, may they recover from their sicknesses may they get ri get rid of their uh, un pain uh, painful uh, situations painful uh, 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 sorrowful situations may they be happy peaceful having that aspiration we can make a blessings blessings upon all sick people in this world having that aspiration say sadhu 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 you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of these merits may we all able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration we can make a wishes for our sansari journey say sadhu 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 by means of these meritorious deeds may i never join with the police may i join always with the wise until the time i attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so to may all beings be from the highest realms of existence to the lowest may all beings arisen in this realm with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much good night to west have a nice day to east